Hello everyone, Ian here from Ableton and Burbank, and today we're checking out how to load TrueMatch firmware into a Kinoflow. You're going to need a PC to do it, and you're also going to need a USB cable. This is an A to B. I'm going to show you how to run the firmware program on the PC and how to confirm you have it loaded into your Kinoflow. To update the firmware, I'm on a Google homepage, Kinoflow.com, takes you to the homepage for Kinoflow left click on the new tab left click on true match firmware and you want to go down to here which is the url that will take you to the true match page and i'm going to click in here if you're not registered the next step is you're going to have to register right here i'm going to put my email address in and my password and log in. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bottom. This is a description of disclaimers, accept. And now we get to the downloads page. First thing I wanna do, download the Flash Programmer and firmware. And I click download. And here we go. Now that the uh, Flash has been downloaded. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go download firmware for the light I'm going to update. That is going to be a Celeb 250. So you can see, here we go, version 410 Celeb 2, which is for 250 download. I now have both items. I have the uh, program and I have the firmware that I want. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to go to here, double left click and I'm going to go to my flash programmer double left click extract all extract double click again and now I'm going to double click on here and now this is going to run or make the installation of the program onto my PC so we go through here we're going to have to accept the terms and we can take this item off, the second one, click next, next. And now it's gonna take a couple of minutes for this to go through and make the installation. The download is complete. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to open this up and I'm gonna open up this. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my flash programmer, double click on it, and I'm going to extract all. Double click again. Now I'm going to run this programmer. Yes. And I have to accept. Next. Next. And we're going to install. and install and again you can see by the the time it takes to uh, run through all these it will take you a good couple of minutes uh, depending on your machine to get it all installed okay so we've got everything installed i can click on finish now i can go up here and i'm going to open up my Kinoflow LED, and I'm gonna to go to this one, the one on the bottom with the little R. I'm gonna open that up. All right, and here we are. So the first thing I'm gonna do before, and this error message, by the way, is normal. Don't uh, get uh, worried about that. We're gonna click OK in just a moment. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I have to uh, plug the USB connection into the Kinoflow while holding the number one and number two button at the same time. All right, I have it plugged in. So now I can go and I'm gonna go up here to browse and I'm gonna show you where I got the file for my Celeb 250. So I'm going to go to Browse and True Match. I went into uh, the Celebs, and here is the Celeb 250 file. So I'm going to open that. And now that's 
uh, selected. Now I can go ahead and hit the start. Okay. And it's going to go through an evaluation process here. Start putting the stuff in. And it passed. So now we are ready to start working with our new firmware version. And I'll show you how you can confirm that uh, version has been loaded into your light. That wraps up our look at how to load TrueMatch firmware into a Kinaflow using a PC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.